In this video, we're going to take a look at patch head filtering with MagicQ. At the time of making this video, the MagicQ library has got over 33,000 head files in its library, which is quite a few files where maybe in your show you've only got 10 or 12 different types of fixtures. You don't care about the other 32,900 and whatever odd fixtures. So when we go to our patch window over here and we go to choose head, you see the full list of all manufacturers in our current fixture or head library. On your A encoder here, you've got a filter where you can filter this library down. By clicking on the soft button at the side of the window here, you can see fixtures already patched in your show. And this shows you the mode of the fixture. So this is really useful if you want to grab a fixture in the mode that it's already in for adding a couple more to an existing show file. If you click it again, you'll get our live folder. Now this is a desk setting, so you'll get this when you start a new show on all Magic Q systems. And you'll see in here the more live event style fixtures, brands like Chauve, Clay Packy, and Roby. Click it again and you'll see a film TV folder in here. Again, fixtures more in orientated to that sort of environment. Aries, Keener Flows. Click it again and you get a user folder. Inside the user folder, you can tag fixtures that you want, that you own maybe in rental stock or in your venue, but you have those fixtures and you can tag them to appear in this user folder. It's a desk setting, so you set it once, you start new shows and your user folder remains. So let me show you how to add some fixtures to this folder. If we could start off by going back to the all view, seeing all fixtures, and we're going to go into the Chauve folder, and we're going to find one of their Maverick fixtures. Let's go for the Force One spot here. I'm not going to click the fixture. I'm just going to cursor around the window, so using the arrow keys down here, move around so that you've got the yellow box over the fixture you're interested in. And then on your Y encoder here, we're going to click the Set Clear User Tag button. This has now tagged that fixture, as it says in the command line here, so it would appear in my user folder. Let's do another brand fixture as well. So we're going to go up folder. We're going to go to the Roby folder. And in here, we're going to find uh, a spot fixture. So let's go for uh, the MMX spot. Again, I'm going to use my cursor keys, my arrow keys, to cursor over to that fixture, like so. And once my cursor is on the fixture, I'm going to hit the set clear user tag button. That's tag that fixture. Now, when I come out of my patch window, back in again, choose head, and I go to filter and I toggle through to the user folder. You can see I've got Chauve and Roby there. And when I go in those folders, I only see the one fixture I tagged for those manufacturers. Now, you can obviously tag as many fixtures as you like for a particular manufacturer inside a folder. Uh, and you can then see that this will load in with new shows as well. So when I go to set up and start a new show, this is a desk setting now. So I've got an empty show. I go to patch, go to choose head. There's my user folder and you can see those fixtures have persisted. Now, if you've got multiple Camsys systems, you don't have to set this up on all the different systems. What it actually creates is it creates a spreadsheet file, a CSV file in your file manager. So if you go to set up file manager, uh, and then go into your heads folder inside your library here. We go to heads. And inside the heads folder, if we sort by item type, in here you'll find that you've got some CSV files. And one of those is called user head CSV file. And you can take that and you could copy that to a USB drive and you can place that onto all of your consoles. And you'll find that that user folder comes in that file. You can also edit that file uh, with a CSV editor, someone like Excel, and you can remove and add fixtures using that file as well. But you can take that file and say, load it onto all Magic Q systems, just place it in the head folder, PC or console, and you're set to go with your user folder. So that's patch head filtering as part of Magic Cube.